Yeah, pray for everybody. Hello world, this is Bible Time Capsule, and I am Citizen. Today is... Today is October 14th, 2015. I'm sitting here. Behind me is a um, is a hospital that a young gentleman in our time era is suffering for his life from. In our time period, it's called a drug overdose. And I used to watch this guy play when I was younger, I'm younger than he is, but he went to a college called Rhode Island. Thought he was a real, real good player. Thought he might be the next Michael Jordan, who was, you probably know in your time, the best in a game called basketball. Anyway, I, just, I live in this area, in Las Vegas, Nevada, United States, and I decided to say a prayer or read Bible time capsule which is a prayer when you read this good word and let the vibrations go out to the heavens and made the vibrations from what we're about to read I haven't read it yet go into his atoms and molecules and souls and bringing health and his family and friends and everybody like I said I don't know the guy but as the lady and I were just talking Pray for anyone, and may they pray for you when you have hard times. So we're in Ezekiel, chapter 12. Let's begin then. The first section is titled, Symbolic Departure from Home. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a provoking house, who have eyes to see and see not, and ears to hear and hear not, for they are a provoking house. Thou therefore, O son of man, prepare thee all, nece all necessaries for removing, and remove by day in their sight, and thou shalt remove out of thy place to another place in their sight. If so be, they will regard it, for they are a provoking house. And thou shalt bring forth thy furniture as the furniture of one that is removing by day in their sight. And thou shalt go forth in the evening in their presence as one goeth forth that removeth, removeth his dwelling. Dig thee a way through the wall before their eyes, and thou shalt go forth through it. In their sight thou shalt be carried out upon men's shoulders. Thou shalt be carried out in the dark. Thou shalt cover thy face, and shalt not see the ground. For I have set thee for a sign of things to come to the house of Israel. I did, therefore, as he commanded me. I brought forth my goods by day, as the goods of one that removed it. And in the evening, I dig through the wall with my hand. I went forth in the dark, and was carried on men's shoulders in their sight. And the next section is titled, Sedisius's Capture Foretold. And the word of the Lord came to me in the morning, saying, Son of man, hath not the house of Israel, a provoking house, said to thee, What art thou doing? Say to them, Thus saith the Lord God, This burden concerneth my prince that is in Jerusalem, and all the house of Israel that are among them. Say, I am a sign of things to come to you, as I have done. So shall it be done to them. They shall be removed from their dwellings and go into captivity. The prince that is in the midst of them shall be carried on shoulders. He shall go forth in the dark. They shall dig through the wall to bring him out. 
his face shall be covered, that he may not see the ground with his eyes. And I will spread my net over him, and he shall be taken in my net, and I will bring him into Babylon, into the land of the Chaldeans. And he shall not see it, and there he shall die. And all that are about him, his guards and his troops, I will scatter into every wind, and I will draw out the sword after them. And they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall have dispersed them among the nations and scattered them in the countries. And I will leave a few men of them from the sword, from the famine, and from the pestilence, that they may declare all their wicked deeds among the nations, whither they shall go, and they shall know that I am the Lord. The next section is titled, Desolation of the People. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, eat thy bread in trouble, and drink thy water in hurry and sorrow. And say to the people of the land, Thus saith the Lord God to them that dwelleth in Jerusalem, in the land of Israel, they shall eat their bread in care, and drink their water in desolation, that the land may become desolate from the multitude that is therein for the iniquity of all that dwell therein. And the cities that are now inhabited shall be laid waste, and the land shall be desolate. And you shall know that I am the Lord. The last section is titled, Punishment Near at Hand. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, what is this proverb that you have in the land of Israel, saying, The days shall be prolonged, and every vision shall fail. Say to them, therefore, Thus saith the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease, neither shall it be any more a common saying in Israel, and tell them that the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain visions, nor doubtful divination in the midst of the children of Israel. For I, the Lord, will speak, and what word soever I shall speak, it shall come to pass, and shall not be prolonged any more. But in your days, ye provoking house, I will speak the word, and I will do it, saith the Lord. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold the house of Israel, they that say, the vision that this man seeth is for many days to come, and this man prophesieth of times afar off. Therefore say to them, Thus saith the Lord God, Not one word of mine shall be prolonged any more. The word that I shall speak shall be accomplished, saith the Lord God. And that's the end of chapter 12 of Ezekiel in this Bible time capsule. I am citizen. Peace. I'm out. God bless everyone.